Hello, my name is Mark Rice of Cutter Networks and I'd like to talk with you today for just a couple minutes about the RAD MyTop. What is a MyTop? A MyTop is a T1 pseudo-wire device in an SFP format. Now what does all that mean to you? Essentially, if you have a network, let's say a campus environment, or you have multiple buildings connected by fiber and you've spent money over the years uh, establishing high-speed connections, you might have a gigabit backbone, uh, you have managed switches everywhere, and in the first building is where your DMARC is, and you want to move the DMARC for T1 to another building. It's very simple to do. Simply insert one of these in an SFP slot, one of your switches in the first building, connect your RJ48C T1 cable, put a corresponding one in the other building, and bang, it's done. Now obviously there's a little bit of setup and it's not quite that simple, but it's pretty straightforward actually. There are also other applications though. For example, let's say that you're a CLEC and you have uh, an Ethernet fiber connection from two points miles away and you need to pass a T1 across that. You have a remote enclosure. You need to put something in that enclosure that doesn't increase the footprint, doesn't appreciably increase the overhead in terms of power this might be a perfect solution for you because you could have a corresponding one of these on the other end but you could also have a device to aggregate a large number of these if you wanted to. There's a lot of applications provided that you have adequate bandwidth and a managed network and you need to move a T1 across it this might be the simplest way for you to do that. Now notice that I've, several times I've made references to managed networks and adequate bandwidth you have to have those components. You can't use this, for example, over the public internet because there you and I both know that there are delays. And the whole concept of the, the MyTop is that it's just as if there was a T1 copper cable from one side to the other, though those points may be miles apart. Any service that was originally on it will not be tampered with. So it could be RS-232, it could be phone, it could be various data connections, there's no telling. It could be anything that was on that original T1 will retain its integrity because we're really not we're not compressing the T1 we're taking the T1 and we're encapsulating the T1 and sending it across your network. It's a very small device it's amazing what they can do putting it into a small SFP. But I'd love to talk to you about your application if you have needs to move a T1 across your IP network you give me a call I'd love to talk with you I'm at 727-398-5252 my name is Mark. I hope you have a wonderful day.